Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, well, my journey did start at IUSB, and I knew it would start at IUSB the moment I walked through the door. Um, they were so receptive of me, and it wasn't just me. I had my son with me at the time. And the way that they treated my baby when I walked through the door, they didn't treat me as a single mom. They treated me as a mother that had a baby and that needed care. And they sh really kind of ignored me for a little while and took him to this space where he was going to be and they were gonna teach him all this wonderful things and I'm just standing there like, yeah, what about me, what, whatever. <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was really cool. So um, my journey toward my ultimate goal started at IUSB under the tutelage of my mentor, Dr. John McIntosh. Speaking of Dr. John McIntosh, for those that don't know him, he's the Associate Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs and Professor of Psychology. However, when I first met him, he was an advisor for psych the psychology department. I walked into his office and he had his head down, he was just writing. And I'm standing there, he says, clinical counseling or education. And I'm with a puzzled look and I'm like, excuse me? He says, what form of psychology do you, do you want? Clinical, counseling, or education? And I said, neither. I want criminal psychology. <laughs> He throws his pen, he almost falls out of his chair. He says, come in, come in, sit down, sit down. Ooh, what are we gonna do with you? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Um, during my time, he told me that he was going to make sure that I did not do my whole time at IUSB just going to classes. He wanted to make sure that I entered the community and I knew what I was getting myself into. Criminal psychology, I'm gonna be dealing with some pretty, a pretty rough crowd, right? So I worked at Dismas House, I worked at the Robinson Center, I worked at uh, Stone Soup Communities, and that wasn't internships really, those were work studies. And so I think he did an awesome job at trying to put me out into the community here at, um, in South Bend. The faculty here, at IUSB has truly been there for me for over 10 years. They have not left my side. Okay, so if I had advice right now to give any student, that would be don't just go to class and get a degree. Actually, take advantage of the excellent faculty here at IUSB and build beneficial substantial lifelong relationships with the staff because they will be there for you. I mentioned Dr. McIntosh, but there are others I could mention such as Dr. Rodriguez who reached out to me for this event, Sarah Stein and Gwen Minotaur, and many others that have continued to be there for me. But the reason for my pursuit in forensic psychology or criminal justice, is that I actually have a passion for both and helping in our community. Gaining my degree from IUSB and the Chicago School, I'm able to work in the field of corrections and really, if you think about it, any field of psychology. The groundwork that I started here at IUSB has very much continued to my graduate program and into my career. I completed an advanced lab project under the direct supervision of Dr. Rodriguez. Um, the project was called Common Characteristics of a Recidivist. And now my dissertation is titled Transitional Homes, the Vital Impact of Returning Citizens After Receiving Case Management. That's a direct foundation right there. I carried that right into my, my doctorate program. Alongside of school, I am the founder and CEO of Building Families Together. This is a not-for-profit corporation 
that provides properly certified mental health professionals that are trained in a vast array of community outreach services to returning citizens and their families. That ha those that are a part of building families together are strategically placed in Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin to physically service our communities. These services include, but are not limited to, anger management, substance abuse, reentry skills, housing, relationship building, job readiness, resume writing, and life development skills. It is the mission, duty, and purpose of building families together to provide, educate, and support those wanting a safe place to come and require resources and information after incarceration. The Building Families Together website enables our global reach and scope. Through our website, we educate, coordinate, and provide resources and relief to those who want it. Through this website, it does not hinder us from reaching out to everyone, regardless of their geographical area. I have personally networked with individuals in Texas, Florida, Vegas, and even Uganda, which is one of my proudest moments, <laughs> and other parts of the globe. My, my groundwork, my foundation, I started at IUSB, has helped me fulfill my passion for psychology, criminal justice, and it has helped me devote myself to not only one community, but several communities across the globe. IUSB gave me the, how do you say this, impetus, I suppose, to start my journey into the vast realm of recidivism and assisting an underserved population and their families. My groundwork, my foundation at IUSB has also helped me successfully transition into graduate school, which also continued my ultimate mission and my goals. I would just like to take a few more seconds. Usually all of my thank yous are through emails since I left IUSB, all of them. I finally get a chance to stand in front, in front of some of the professors and the faculty and physically say thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. You started this, <laughs> this. You, you helped me with this and I wanna say thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez.